What's up, Internet? Headed up to the top of Thumb Butte. I'll give you a view here. Somewhere way up there. I've never been all the way to the top. So, wish me luck. Hopefully all that bushwhacking and hiking in Alaska's knocking the couples cobwebs out enough. Shouldn't have that much of a trouble. Hey, you guys can pause that and read it at your leisure if you so choose. But anyway, I'm headed up the hill. It's uphill the whole way. I don't remind you of anything it does me. So I'll uh, check in with you guys from time to time on the way up and let you know how I'm going. And uh, also show you some of the business. Tamara's been up here and taking some pictures. It's gorgeous. So I'll see you in a bit. Quick shot before I get out of the tree line. Surrounded here by pinion, juniper, and ponderosa pine. So, Arizona does have trees. It's not all what you see in the Looney Tunes cartoons and whatnot. A lot of it is, but not all of it. Now we get some pretty darn big trees, actually. Mm. Big old ponderosas. They get really massive around, too. Two and a half, three feet, four feet in diameter. That's a big tree, I don't care where you are. But the trail's kind of neat, it's got all kinds of little interpretive signs and whatnot. Along the way, there's a couple of benches with some more in-depth signage explaining the topography, flora and fauna, that sort of stuff. And uh, this is open, unusually so, because it's a non-motorized trail. And they'll put turnstiles here to keep. <laughs> you feel like you're in an amusement park? There's a sign explaining what the gate's for, but they do graze cattle up here, so sometimes they will be open. I don't know what the cattle are eating. I've always thought of, if you were a really bad cow in a previous life, they sent you to Arizona to live in your second life. There's gotta be hell for cows. <laughs> I don't know that they ever get the concept, but you know, they say California cows are happy cows, I believe it. Uh, Arizona cows, not so much. So anyway, Onward and upward. See him in a a redheaded woodpecker. Well, I'll see if I can find another one. Forgot my hat. That was a mistake. All right, interwebs, not quite the top yet, but uh, get a little idea of the view coming up. Almost there. I hope. <laughs> Sorry for all the huffing and puffing, but uh, big boy ain't got no choice. So I'll see you at the top. Well, holy camoly, guys, I made it to the top. I'll show you. Let me step up here. Oof. Big P on the mountainside for Prescott. See the San Francisco Peaks, Humphreys. That's all the way in Flagstaff. That's about 90, well, probably close to 100 miles from where I'm standing proper. 
And then, of course, Thumb Butte. It looks bigger from way down there. Of course, you're on the back side, so there's not, uh, it's not as rocky on the back side. But uh, from here, I think, it's just around the Butte and downhill. I'm gonna bring you down here and show you some of the lay of the land. It's pretty neat up here. A little viewing area from the top. And uh, I'll get down here and show you. Kind of the lay of the land a little bit. This all splayed out in front of us is Prescott proper. You got a black mesa way back there in the background. Kind of a plateau that rises up out of the Verde Valley towards Coconino. And uh, Flagstaff in that area. Down here you've got the hospital, Prescott, a cluster of white buildings down there, the VA, the mountain, the round mountain, that you can kind of see right here in the foreground, sort of. That's Glassford Hill. Now just over behind Glassford Hill is Prescott Valley. You can see part of it peeking out just on the other side of this little peak right here. See some of the houses way in the background. But Prescott Valley proper is on the other side of that hill right there. That's where I call home. So, pretty neat houses up here. Can't beat the views, that's for sure. Pretty spectacular. I uh, wonder what these people do in Prescott, Prescott Valley to raid a home like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me check that place out. That's pretty, uh, pretty spectacular down there. Fancy schmancy. So anyway, I'm gonna work my way around. If there's anything else cool around the corner, I'll be showing you guys. See you in a minute. Quick, I failed to mention, and I didn't even know this until today. Uh, Glassford Hill there, the mountain, like I said, kind of in the foreground, is actually an extinct volcano. And I live literally in the shadow of that hill. <laughs> so, learn something new every day. So pay attention, guys, pay attention. Check it out, there's something pretty cool. This is what's called a prickly pear or paddle cactus. Prickly pear, I think, is the more popular actual name. It gets these little fruits on it, uh, aptly named prickly, because as you can see up close, they do, in fact, have spines on them. I don't want to get too close. This thing doesn't focus very well, very, very close. But if you're careful, you can, in fact, peel and get to the very delicious fruit inside. And let me tell you, it is sweet and very, very succulent, loaded with moisture. It is, uh, <laughs> sorry, I have a <laughs> spine in my tongue. <laughs> that was gross, sorry. But it is delicious and you can eat it. You just have to be real careful. <laughs> so, oh, pretty bird. Anyway, see you in a little bit. Got a tiny hummingbird. Oh, I've got some. There, that's better. And I was wrong. I'm not quite to the top. That was apparently just a vista. Um, I mean, it's up there. But I'm apparently still going uphill. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are. Right at the base of the butte. Way down there. Where I thought I was at the top. I were mistaken. But. You'll have that from time to time. That's more like a big guy just wishing he was at the top. But anyway, look at there. Downhill. It's all downhill from here. And uh, has a whole lot of Scott to hold back going downhill. So it's almost as rough on me going down as it is coming up. But like I said, three weeks of training, 10 days back country. Shea Carl for inspiration and the Shea Loss crew. Uh, we're working it out, trying to trying to be a little less me and uh, a little easier to get around. There's a good shot of a uh, Granite Mountain. Some neat trails and a lake and stuff up there too. So, anywho, on the downward slope, <laughs> quite literally. 